Yo. I call on the spirits to open the way. I call on the ancestors to clear the path. And, I call on you, to make yourself receptive, to the message which is being delivered. You must know that spirit magic exists in opposites, called white magic, and, black magic. Practitioners of white magic usually describe black magic as negative, and, practitioners of black magic, usually describe white magic as negative. The reality is, magic is magic. What makes it positive or negative is based on the intentions of the practitioner. Both white magic, and black magic, have their right hand paths, and left hand paths. The right hand path is used to describe magic with positive intentions, and the left hand path is used to describe magic with negative intentions. Like white light and black light, both white magic and black magic come from a common source, ancient Egypt. White magic was perfected by the European witches, warlocks, wiccans, and druids, and eventually gave rise to modern religions like Christianity. In white magic, the letter K is added to the word magic to discriminate between magic for the purpose of entertainment, versus magic used for harnessing energies to alter self, others, or the environment. Black magic was perfected by the people of Africa and their descendants, and eventually gave rise to various animistic traditions throughout Africa and in the Caribbean and the Americas. In Marvel Comics, Doctor Strange represents white magic, and Doctor Brother Voodoo represents black magic. Both characters held the title of Sorcerer Supreme at different points in time. In ancient Egypt, black magic had two distinctions, known by the names, Heka, and, Aku. Much like magic and magic respectively, Heka was magic used for the purpose of healing, and Aku was magic used for the purpose of trickery and entertainment. When the magical practices left ancient Egypt, they diverged into black magic and white magic. In South and Central Africa, black magic is called, Ngoma, or Gong, and relates to wisdom, knowledge, and skill. The root, Ang, can be seen in the name for the practitioners of black magic in South and Central Africa. In South Africa, the practitioner of black magic is called a, Sangoma, or, Iyenga. In Swahili, Mgunga, refers to a traditional healer, or African witch doctor. Among the Shona people of Zimbabwe, a, Nenga, is a traditional healer who uses a combination of herbs and spiritual advice to heal people. The Bantu people use the word, Ngunga, for a herbalist or spiritual healer, and this word is also used by their descendants in Haiti, Brazil, and Cuba, who were taken during the transatlantic slave trade. This can also be seen in the manifestation of black magic in West Africa known as, Udun. West African descendants, who were brought to the Americas and the Caribbean, during the transatlantic slave trade, use various versions of the word, Udun, to describe their black magic, including, Cuban Vodou, Puerto Rican and Dominican Voodoo, Haitian Voodoo, New Orleans Louisiana Voodoo, Deep Southern Hoodoo, and Brazilian Voodoo, also called Candomle JJ. In these traditions, the spirits are known as, Loa, or, Orisha. In modern times, the systems of Palo, Santeria, and Lukumi, aim to reunite black magic, with white magic, through the combination of synchronizing the black magic Loa, or, Orisha, spirits, with the white magic Catholic saints. The pantheon of Orisha, can also be found in the traditional practices of the Yoruba people of Nigeria, where the male spiritual priest is called a, Babalawo, and the female spiritual priestess is called a, Ayalawo, meaning father and mother of mysteries, respectively. In Vudun, the female priestess is called, Vudun Si, and the male priest is called, Vudun Nan. In Ghana, the spiritual priest is called, Okomfo, and one such powerful African shaman was named, Okomfo Anakye, who helped establish the Ashanti Kingdom. Haitian Vodou also helped, Toussaint Elevator, during the Haitian Revolution. In Haitian Vodou, the female priestess is called Imambo, and the male priest is called Ahangon, which is derived from the word, Haunangon, of the Fon people of Dahomey, in the country of Benin in Africa, and is similar to the word, Hogon, the name for a spiritual leader amongst the Dogon people of Mali. While each of these systems are separate and distinct, they share common practices and syncretic traditions. Another black magic occult science from the African Congo is called, Bo, or, Obo, whose priests are called Bokonon, or Bokotonon. The occult science of Bo, is not Vudun, but elements of Vudun can be seen in the rituals of Bo, and it summons spirits from the Vudun pantheon. In Haitian Vodou, and Puerto Rican and Dominican Vodou, the highest initiation rank, is to become a high priest called a, Bokor, or priestess called a, Caplata, who are said to serve the lowest spirits with both hands. The black magic of Bokors includes the creation of zombies, and the creation of talismans, called, Wangas, which house spirits. 
Other names for these talismans which house spirits are, Nkondi, Nkisi, Nail Fetishes, Risk Ris, Mojo, Juju, Voodoo Dolls, and Hoodoo Puppets. The term, Obia, is also used to refer to a talisman, or object, which houses a spirit, and has roots to the Ashanti word, Obeifo, meaning witchcraft, and the Igbo word, Dibia, meaning healer. These talismans are also sometimes called, medicine bags, as they may be small bags containing one or more magical items. The fact that words like doctor, healer, herbalist, and medicine, come up so frequently when discussing black magic, has to do with the fact that black magic had its origins in ancient Egypt, with Heka, which was used for the purpose of healing. As it was in the beginning, so shall it be in the end.